Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to take a face bow record. Prior to taking your face bow record, prepare all your instruments and materials that you will need. This includes an ear bow, a bite fork, some beauty wax, a transfer gig and a reference plane locator. Have a look at your cast. Any nodules or irregularities must be removed as shown here. This is called grooming the cast. Soften the wax under warm water and place over your bite fork. Mould as shown here. Fold back wax posteriorly in the molar region and trim away any excess wax to reduce any chance of introducing an anomaly in the bite registration. Trim away any wax on the front of the bite fork that is covering the midline mark. This midline mark is essential to help you orientate the bite fork in the patient's mouth. When adjustments have been completed, soften the wax and bite fork under warm water just before placing in the patient's mouth. Align the bite fork and when happy with its position, then press down uniformly so that there is even contact in all maxillary teeth. Particular attention here that the midline mark is between the patient's central incisors and in a line with the mid sagittal plane of the patient's head. To move and examine the impression, note several markings that show even contact reflecting a true impression. These cuspal markings will now be a reference point for positioning the bite fork intraorally again. Using the reference plane locator and referencing plane marker, mark the anterior reference point on the right hand side of the patient's face. Take your transfer gig, loosen all the screws so that the components can move freely as they will be adjusted to the measurements individual to the patient. Ensure number one and number two, as seen here, are facing the operator. Likewise, the ear bow and locating arm should be loosened so that it can move freely. Assemble the transfer gig to the ear bow, tighten the screw, ensuring that it maintains secure. Position the bite fork intraorally using your reference indentations to help. Kindly ask your patient to hold it securely in position and check that you are happy with its position. Note the locating arm of the bite fork is protruding on the patient's right hand side. You will need an assistant to help position the apparatus on the patient. Advise them to gently guide the ear bow into the external meatus and tighten accordingly. When happy with this position, tighten the anterior connecting screw until secure. Adjust and position the locating arm to the anterior reference, lowering the ear bow vertically to do so. Tighten screw number one to secure this position. Finally, tighten screw number two. When everything is in the correct position, you can then ask the patient to relax and take over holding the bite fork. 
You must tighten all the screws to ensure that they are in a secure position. Detach the ear bow from the rest and remove separately. You will be left with the face bow registration that you will send to the lab.